الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يا رب العالمين اللهم لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم اللهم تب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله حياكم الله my dear brothers, uncles and everyone may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all barakah and rahmah and may he azwajal except from all of us, ameen a brief reminder, barakallahu feekum this is an introduction of tomorrow's lecture after Salatul Maghrib, insha'Allah. And I think this is one of the most important topics that you can hear in the West uh, and that we need to refresh ourselves about it. And the topic is the Masajid in the West. In specific, we named it for tomorrow, insha'Allah. My days, or the days in my masjid, the days in my masjid. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in this life, He has set rules for all humanity. Set rules for all humanity. So you find people doing things that they cannot go away from, or they cannot stop, by the decree of Allah azza wa jal. And you find your own self trying to do something, but you cannot actually change it because Allah just decrees it for you that way. For example, Allah has decreed for us to be created in this looks that I have, that you have, that everyone has. You cannot change your looks. You cannot change your parents. You cannot change your kids. Your kid is your kid. Things, behaviors that we internally have that are not necessarily bad and you cannot change. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given that to you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also has specialized the believers with certain ibadat, with certain things, with certain sha'air that he chose azza wa jal for them and he was satisfied and pleased for that choosing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَرَضِيتُ لَكُمُ الْإِسْلَامَ hmm? Dina. Right? Allah has chosen Islam for you and he's pleased that Islam is your deen. Can you change Islam to another Islam, to another deen that is called Islam? No, it's Allah's choosing. Allah has chosen Ramadan for us to be the month of Siyam. Can we change that? No. If you think about it in a theological way, in a, in a theoretical way, theoretical way, by theory, you can change anything. But in reality, you cannot actually change everything because Allah has chosen for you certain things, right? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen the Qur'an for us as the message, the last revelation to humanity's guidance. Right? Keep it short, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen the masajid of His, the masajid of Allah, buyutullah, the houses of worship of Allah. This is what, this, what masjid is called. Baytullah. Allah has chosen those to be the houses of worship for the believers. So we are enjoying, we are enjoying the choosing of Allah Azza wa Jal that He bestowed upon us as believers. The question is that we'll answer tomorrow. How do you, how do I connect or feel towards my masjid? And I'm not talking about people, I'm not talking about the structure, not the walls, not the beautiful design, internal design. Perhaps in the future, the outside design as well, with the mi'dhan, insha'Allah. However, how do you connect with the masjid, with your own masjid? Do you take that as a part of your life from your own days? And mashallah, I know all of you here, barakallahu feekum, you are the regular attendees of this masjid, barakallahu feekum. And may Allah increase you in number and quality. Ameen. Say ameen. We're making dua for your, yourselves and for the people that perhaps hear us behind the uh, screens. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in number and in quality. Allahumma ameen. وَأَنَّ الْمَسَاجِدَ لِلَّهِ فَلَا تَدْعُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ أَحَدًا Allah says, and masajid belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, thus do not associate others with Allah. The fact that you are sitting in the masjid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you're praying to Allah is a true blessing 
The Prophet وسلم, gave us a lot of glad tidings about just praying in jama'ah, just by connecting to the masjid. The question is again, how do I really connect? This is the, a true question that I want you to think about from tonight until tomorrow. How do you perceive your own masjid? If this is your own masjid, your home masjid, how do you perceive your home masjid? In your heart, in your mind, in your emotions. Do you have any plans for your own masjid? If it's another masjid also, how do you perceive that masjid? Do you take it as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said once, sallu ala rasulillah, he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that amongst the seven categories that will be shed by the shade of Allah azza wa jalla on yawm al-qiyamah, is a young person whose heart is inclined with the masjid. Why? You're talking about the seven categories that amongst them is Imam Adil, a judge who is just. You're talking about a high archy, a high level of respect and honoring that Allah has specified. So how am I perceiving my own masjid? I remember uh, Dr. Abdul Rabb, Hafizullah, say Ameen. Once we had a conversation and he said, about the closeness of where he purchased the house near the masjid. How, how distant is his house from the masjid? And how important for us to think about this? And it's true. How, is it import, how important is it to you that you're close to the masjid that you do not miss a salah, you do not miss a halaqa, you do not let your kids miss salah? This is, how, this is part of how we perceive the masjid. There was an, a beautiful activity that the people in my hometown in, in Amman, in Jordan, they have done once, which was beautiful. The closest masjid, one of the holiest masajid on earth, that is closest to Amman is what? Anyone knows? Yeah? Al Masjid Al Aqsa. Very good. So, Al Masjid Al Aqsa, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send security and liberate Al Masjid Al Aqsa, bi'idhnillah, Allahumma ameen. And may He Azza wa Jal make us amongst the means and the reasons for it to be liberated, Allahumma ameen. The activity that the people of Amman did, and also the suburbs and, and the cities around Amman did, that they have written with a, a nice uh, board on their doors, on their house's doors, how many kilometers or how many miles is Al Masjid Al Aqsa far from their homes. So you go to a certain home, you'll find a number. And they've done it by Google Earth, right? By the maps, SubhanAllah it says. This, is, this tells you something, that we as a believers, we are connected to the Masjid of Allah. And we must be connected in a way that is beautiful. How do you perceive the Masjid? Did you, did you think about the moment when you go back to Allah Azza wa Jal, that you tell Him, Ya Allah, this was my Masjid, and this is what I have done, this is what I have put forth for Islam and the Muslims. I'll end with this, inshaAllah, and something to uh, reflect on. Inshallah, tomorrow we'll talk in detail what is your responsibility what is my responsibility towards my masjid and any masjid that i live around and what is expected from you and from me as a believer towards the masjid and how the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam our role model sallallahu alaihi wasallam established this idea and this belief and this beautiful connection between the believers and the masjid inshallah tomorrow we'll continue that after salatul maghrib there is potluck inshallah the family night will start will resume tomorrow bismillah and uh, we'll have, inshallah, continuous family night every weekend. Is that right, Shazwa? Every weekend, inshallah, for the masjid and the community to revive, inshallah, with these activities that are important to learn, get knowledge, pump your iman, and increase, inshallah, and please Allah Azza wa Jal in the first place. So, the Shaykh, uh, Rahimahullah, Shaykh Abdullah Kamil, the Hafal, the Shaykh who read the Quran that you heard. Almost a week ago, he passed away, rahimahullah. He said something profound about a rumor that people spread, I think it was a year ago, that he passed away. So people, certain people, they threw out this rumor that Sheikh Abdullah Kamil passed away. So he came out with a video, the people around him, they just videotaped him and they wanted to let the people know that this is a rumor, it's not true. But he gave a very powerful message. The gist of this message, he said, how ready am I to death? Is it enough that I only read the Quran? Is it only enough 
that I go to the masjid? Is it enough that I am just Muslim? But rather, what have I prepared for the mission of Islam, for the Muslims? What have I done? In reality, every one of us should ask this question. And this is a true question that we should start asking ourselves. What is my role as a believer in Islam? If you look at the great scholars of Islam throughout the history, you find that Allah Azza wa Jal has eased ways for them that they perhaps have authored many books that are beneficial until our days we are studying from them. And it is written in their amal, in their good amal. Projects that have prospered the ummah, things that people before us, the Muslims, have put forth for us to succeed. What is my role? And everyone has a potential. Allah created you because you have a potential. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has honored us with this blessed deen, with this blessed message, with this blessed mission. And the main tool, the main umbrella that binds us and makes us all together as one ummah is the masajid. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our masjid. And may Azza wa bless the masajid all around the world. And may Azza wa make us connect to his masajid dearly and nearly in a way that pleases Allah Azza wa Jal. Allahumma ameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all and make you amongst the believers who establish the salah in the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala days and nights. And may Azza wa make it a reflection of nur and light upon you, upon your souls, upon your families and your offsprings until the end of time. Allahumma ameen. Allahumma salli wa sallam mubarak ala Sayyidina Muhammad. And lastly, brother... Uh, uh, just left uh, a note, Brother Mahmoud. He's asking for dua for his sister, Ruksana. She's sick in the hospital. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant her shifa. Allahumma shfiha shifa an la yugadiru saqama. Allahumma shfi ukhtana Ruksana shifa an la yugadiru saqama. Allahumma shfiha anta shafi la shifa illa shifa uk shifa an la yugadiru saqama. Allahumma adhi bil baas wa shfi anta shafi la shifa illa shifa uk shifa an la yugadiru saqama. Allahumma shfi mardana wa mardana muslimin. اللهم وارحم موتانا وموت المسلمين اللهم توفنا مسلمين والحقنا بالصالحين والحمد لله رب العالمين جزاكم الله خيرا عشاء on Sunday inshallah is at 9.15 9.15 and Fajr will be also at 5 o'clock on Sunday جزاكم الله خير السلام عليكم